behind me. It's called a place called Poor Farmers Market. It's actually an old country store. It's actually really cool. Good afternoon, truck and tube folks. Got awesome things to talk about today. So I'm at home again for like I don't know like the hundredth time in two years um, hmm. I want to talk today about home time home time is good home time is wonderful especially when you're out on the road if you're out on the road for like two or three weeks at a time you're definitely looking forward to that slice of pie going home it means you get a shower you're five feet from a bathroom and you're not struggling to fall asleep at night due to the idiot beside you running his reefer um, or some of those folks that start and cut off their truck like seven times a night or just that guy that comes up and beats on your door and asks you to move because you're in his way so the best part about home time is family I get to go home and spend that with family also getting things that you need done done you gotta do things so you gotta go do stuff um, also great changes are coming You've seen me in one truck, you're about to see me in another truck. Just stay tuned for that. No, uh, no surprises yet. I am, it's gonna be a surprise. I'm not telling you guys what I'm doing and where I'm going yet. You'll get to see after it's all said and done. So, yeah. Anyway. So we're gonna go have some food. We're gonna go have food. That's like my favorite part of the day, food. I guess we'll show you what's going on when we get there. There's actually a nice little store across the way. Uh, you'll get to see that too, I guess. Uh, no new scenery for us. We've seen this before, many times. So, enjoy that. And, and you also enjoy talking to your mom and your dad. So mom says I enjoy talking to them. Yeah. So behind me, you see, oh, by the way, this is mom. Hi, mom. This is mom. Um, we got. I can't get away. There's trucks and more trucks. I can't get away from my job. It's all right. I still love it. Behind me, you'll see pretty views where we come from. This is Route, this is US Route 58 in Patrick County, Virginia. So if you want to come out here, this is actually this place is called Lover's Leap. There's a big backstory behind it. The big backstory is over there on the ridge, it was an Indian maiden and a farmer. They wanted to be together, and uh, they were told that they were not allowed to be together. So they both jumped off the mountainside because they were not. So it's a very big tourist attraction. Yes. So if you guys ever come to Virginia, this is a good place to come, especially out in the sticks here. We, uh, we're used to driving by. We drive by all the, all the time, so it's nothing new to us. Um, but you get to see some of the views. I actually show a shot here of the views without me in it. I know you get tired of seeing my ugly mug. So. You'll see that and more if you come out here. And we're gonna go get some food. I'm hungry. Yep. This might be a short one. I don't know. <laughs> Behind me, it's called a place called Poor Farmers Market. It's actually an old country store. It's actually really cool. Um, really nice place to be. I gotta get a little gas station. Cool stuff like they make wooden wooden rockers and benches and front porch stuff. And where are you going? Anyway. Uh, So, uh, we're gonna go eat at this little country cafe. This little country cafe right here. Right here. So, um, hope you guys kinda like uh, the, the cafe deal. So, 
as far as the country store over there. Hope you guys like the country store. Um, if you're ever in town, come see it. It's at Meadows, Meadows of Dan, Virginia. So we're having some ice cream at this really awesome country store that we've seen earlier. See, ice cream. We're sitting out here chilling on the porch. It's called Poor Farmer's Market in Meadows of Dan. What mom said. It's actually a really good place. Um, see some wild stuff during Floyd Fest. Apparently, I've heard. I've, I've never seen. Interesting. So. Anyway. <clears throat> but back to our subject of home time. This is the best part of home time. Spend it with your family. What are you doing? Um, don't, don't squander it away. I know you got things to do. I mean, if you're with a good company that's uh, going to get your home at least, you know, once a week, or if you get that three weeks, you know, the once a month or whatever, you know, take advantage of your home time. At least get you, you know, get, get the ground running the first day because you're still kind of in work mode. Uh, Get everything you gotta do done, like laundry, your shopping. If you do food shopping, I recommend doing food shopping. Uh, it's cheaper to make your own stuff on the road rather than rather than buy stuff on the road. It's more costly to buy food on the road. Horrible. I mean, like you got every store on the highway is more expensive than your normal store um, as far as food goes. Like, you just got the guy going, hey, money, money, give me your money. So, we all know, buy your own food. Um, but if you're with a good company, you can actually, um, you get some, you probably get some pretty decent home time. You got to, um, it's stuck. Oh my God, it's stuck. It's stuck, like it came out and it's stuck and like it's still mad. All right. <laughs> oh wow, well I guess we can't find the hole. We can't do what? We cannot find the hole. He pulled a straw out of his cup. Well, it's stuck to me. Anyway, um, we're rolling. We're still rolling. Yes, that's mm -hmm. great. <laughs> I got some puppy dogs in this thing. Mm -hmm. Puppy dogs in a truck. I don't want a puppy dog. I mean, that's nice if you just want to ride around. But, anyway, you guys, if you're, like I said, if you want to get in the industry and you go with a good company, I'd recommend at least uh, start out with a mega carrier at least for your first year or two and then move it to a smaller carrier because you get more benefits on a smaller carrier than you do a larger carrier sometimes. Um, your home time is a little bit more different on a small, on, on a smaller carrier standpoint than a larger carrier uh, standpoint. Um, as far as mega carriers and larger fleets, you actually have more they're more pressed for time it's more time sensitive freight whereas a smaller company depending upon what kind of freight you're hauling is is going to be a little bit more lenient as far as the time goes um, so therefore your home time you know if you're running a few weeks your home time will be a little bit more extended say about four maybe five days um, that's whistling at the dog but um, pretty good to, to, to kind of spend time and do what you need to do um, but mainly because you're gone a lot you're missing a lot of things spend time with your family 